the spirit of toastmasters tm shanti thank you toastmaster of the day spirit what is spirit according to google it is the prevailing or typical quality mood or attitude of a person group or a period of time three idiot style you may ask me kehna kya chahte ho what is it that you want to convey well personally i believe that spirit is nothing but energy we are all gathered here today to share our ideas to share our little inspiring stories our evaluations and various other inputs the guests are here today with their energy of curiosity where do we get all this energy from because we all know that energy can neither be created nor can it be destroyed so where is all this energy coming from it should come from somewhere well i for one like to think about the starting points or the origins of anything that i like so today in my speech i thought that i will speak about the origin of the spirit of toastmasters what where all this energy comes from so when i dug into the history of toastmasters i found out that the first unofficial meeting unofficial meeting was held in the year 1905 more than 100 years ago and the person who established that meeting who set up that meeting was ralph c smedley he is considered to be the father of toastmasters now he at that time he was working in ymca young men's christian association and at the time he felt that the men who were part of that community would benefit largely if they would improve their interpersonal skills which is why he established that club but a few years after the club after the first unofficial meeting he moved to another place and the club did not flourish without him two more decades later two more decades later he finally established his first official meeting it was by the time a well organized club and the first official meeting was held in the year 1924 which is 19 years after the first unofficial meeting and from there there was no hurdles for the toastmaster clubs it felt it kept just growing and growing the thing that that really clicked with me is the amount of time the sheer amount of time truly patience and passion can do anything and everything this is where i believe the spirit of toastmasters started but how did that spirit endure for all these years how did it stay relevant after all these years did you know that initially toastmasters only catered to men it was in the year 1970 which was 5 years after smedley died that the first female member was admitted into the club but wait for it she was admitted under a fake name under a male name it was helen blanchard and she was admitted under under the name homer blanchard eventually the club gave way and 3 years after she joined it started accepting women officially and she could go back to her original name helen blanchard this helen blanchard went on to become the first female international president so from here we see that toastmaster was adaptable it chose to change with the changing times it chose to stay relevant rather than just die out by choosing to be rigid now the spirit of toastmasters cannot be complete this topic cannot be complete if we don't talk about our very own most noted leader and our very own club member distinguished toastmaster deepak meena for those of you who are not aware of him for the guests especially he served as the international president in the year 2019 to 20 when i was researching for this speech i literally binge watched all of his videos and interviews on youtube you can even find an article on him in the toastmasters official website a fellow toastmaster tells me that even when he was serving as the international president living in united states at the time 
he would still find time to help his home club, CDTM. And it is always humbling to see him even now attend the meetings and give his valuable feedback to all of us. He comes with a lot of energy. At the time that he joined, he joined in 2002. And at the time he joined the Toastmasters Club of New Delhi. It was the only club in Delhi and one of the six clubs in entire India. And it was under his leadership that the number of clubs has thrived in the entire India, and not just in India, in the neighboring countries as well, in Sri Lanka, in Nepal. It is really honorable to be in the presence of such a great leader, such an adroit leader. Even now, this spirit is continued by a lot of our, our foreign club, club members seniors as well as people who have joined in the recent years and the recent months. I believe that the spirit of Toastmasters is going to continue like this because once a Toastmaster, always a Toastmaster. That is the spirit of Toastmasters. Thank you. Back to the Toastmaster of the day. <laughs>